What's up guys? Cray Pro here, Ali and Nathan. We're coming at you guys. We have an awesome video today. Have you guys ever wondered what is the best pan to use to make crepes? Of course you have. It's an inevitable question. It's gonna come. If you haven't had it yet, it's gonna hit you on the head like a crepe pan in the face, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna it's so it's so important. There's so many good options out there. So we wanna break down for you guys today. We have five different crepe pans, okay? Five different styles. We're gonna show you all of them. We're gonna give you guys our pros and our cons for each one to help you make the best decision possible for your crepe making journey. So we hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, so for our first method, we're gonna, this is probably the most common, uh, the one you probably tried yourself, and that's just gonna be using a normal frying pan just like this one, okay? So the idea here is that you're gonna put in, so this is a pretty big frying pan, so we're gonna put in quite a bit of batter. So you're gonna pour, pour in your batter right in the center, quite a bit, and then what you're gonna actually do, is you're gonna lift it off the heat and you're gonna rotate your batter around just like so, okay? Um, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you spray your pan beforehand and then you can set it back on and let it cook. And what we will generally use when we're doing using this method is we're actually gonna use like a <coughs> rubber spatula to get, to get it out. It's gonna be a little bit more convenient. And then we'll kind of break down the pros and cons of this one if we can get it to turn out okay. Okay, so it's about cooked now. We're gonna see if we can flip it. Just get under it with your rubber spatula and you gotta be quick, boom. Just like that, I tore it a little bit on the end there, but <clears throat> overall not too bad. And then we're gonna put it onto our plate. Let it cook for a second on the second side. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and just shoot it off. Okay, so some of the pros and cons with this method. Um, so first of all with the pros, it's pretty convenient, right? We already have frying pans, you don't have to go out and buy anything else. And even another cool thing is you don't actually need any tools. A lot of the other crepe methods are gonna need a, a, sec a second tool to kind of help you spread the batter. This one you don't, you just get to kind of swirl it in the pan. So it works pretty well. And the crepe cooked pretty decently, if you can tell there, you know, it's pretty golden, pretty nice. Um, <clears throat> some of the cons, some things I don't love about these ones, is that the edges, they get a little brittle, they get a little flaky, which I don't really love on my crepes. And then <clears throat> these ones, it's tough to get the right thickness because you have to pour in quite a bit of batter to spread it around the whole container. And it's tough, it's, you're gonna end up with thicker crepes, you're not gonna be able to get as thin of crepes as you like. Um, so that's kind of something I don't really love. <clears throat> it's also can be difficult to flip. Um, because of these edges, it makes it kind of tricky to get in there and just, you know, rubber spatulas are nice, I would definitely recommend this, but it'd be tricky to get in there and it's easy to tear these crepes. Um, so you're gonna, you might have to have a couple practice crepes or, you know, there's always gonna be a few throwaway crepes when you're making it this method. So um, overall, a pretty good way to go. If you don't have any other tools, this is definitely gonna work for you. Okay guys, for our second method, we have an actual crepe pan. These are pans designed for crepes. It's a griddle, um, but they're either perfect for crepes. Um, and so we're gonna kind of show you guys how to use these ones. The trick behind this and other crepe pans like this, griddles, is you're, a lot of times what you're gonna use is just a spoon like this one or a ladle. And you're gonna spread your batter in a circle like so. Okay, so let me give you a demonstration. So we, and this pan is kind of small, so you can't use as much batter. Um, so we'll put a little bit of batter here in the middle, maybe a little more. And then what we're gonna do is get our spoon and just in a circle motion, smoothly spread that batter out. And this can take some practice to get uh, to get right, okay? So don't beat yourself up if uh, that's a little difficult. So you just spread out your batter just like this. Bit, I'll just use this wooden spatula. We can use any other spatula. Okay, so let me see if I can shoot this out of here. Alrighty, so some of the pros and cons with this pan. Um, pros, this is a, it's a nice non-stick pan. You know, you saw there wasn't any issues there. I did spray it beforehand, but no issues. Get pulling it out, pretty easy. Um, other pros, it, you know, it cooks a pretty good crepe. Like this is a pretty good looking crepe. Um, nice color, nice, you know, consistency to it. Um, some of the cons is, to me, honestly, I don't see a lot of value in it getting a crepe pan like this when a frying pan will probably work. You know, in most cases, um, there's not going to be a lot of big jump in quality when you go from a you know, frying pan to a, a crepe pan like this, you know, but it still works well. 
Uh, I don't love the shape of this one. It's kind of funny that it's square, um, but you know, it, it does work out. And I think that the crepe is a little bit small. You know, I like my crepes to be a lot bigger than this. I like to load them up with a lot of toppings. Um, and so I think this, this is a little bit small. So this wouldn't be my go-to. Overall, it's still a great pan. If you have brittles like this on hand, you can definitely use them to make your crepes with. Okay guys, so our third style of crepe pans, I'm sure you've seen those electric crepe makers where you'll plug them in and then the top is, is, is heated and then you actually just dip the whole thing into the batter, pull it back out and it cooks on top. Kind of a cool method, kind of a quick way to do it. But another way to do it, if you don't have one of those pans, is you can actually just dip in the bottom of a pan like this, as a normal frying pan, into a container of batter that we have here. So we're gonna give you guys a demonstration here. Um, <clears throat> most of the time, these pans are probably not gonna be non-stick, okay? So, and they actually have this grip, which might make things difficult. But what the idea here is you heat up the pan, and then you might need to give it a little spray. You heat up the pan, and you have a round or something, a container that holds your batter, and you just dip it in, Pull it back out and you should have batter on it like that then what you can do is you can put it back on your your stove or your heating surface and let it cook for another second or so and then hopefully they should just fall off pretty easily um, and so we're going to see if we can get these to fall off and then we'll give you guys a pros and cons with this method okay so pretty cool uh, and this looks like when you give the spray it, it usually works pretty well um, there we go So here is the, the crepe, um, not too bad. So some pros with this is that it's pretty convenient. You probably already have a frying pan. You probably already have that. You know, you don't have to go out and buy anything special. You can just, you, know, you already have the pan. Um, and it makes pretty decent crepes. These crepes are thin, um, they're well cooked. You know, not too bad at all. Um, some of the cons on this method is that it's a little bit, it can be a little tricky to find the right container um, to dip in your batter, right? And when you run low on it, so if, for example, if we had, uh, we had, we were just running to get to the bottom of our batter, the pan would no longer fit into the, into the plate here. So that's kind of a con. It can be difficult to find that. <clears throat> and it can be kind of tricky. It doesn't always work like this the first time. You know, it can, it can take some practice, take a couple tries to get to work really well. And then the crepes, they're a little bit brittle. Um, so they're, they're very thin, they're nice, but they're a little brittle. Um, <clears throat> so if you like your crepes big, full, um, you know, just loaded with tons of delicious toppings is probably the best method because um, the crepes are going to be a little bit of a five minute crack. So, um, so overall, it's a pretty good method. If you don't have any other options, this will definitely work for you. Okay guys, so for our fourth crepe pan, we actually have this French industrial crepe maker. Okay, these are what they use in France. If you go to a crepe or you're going to land, you're going to see them making crepes on, on devices like these. Okay, this is actually, if you guys have seen our crepe, which we're going to demonstrate in the next section of this video, we modeled it after these pans and made it available for you in your home. So um, some of the cool things about this pan, um, and we're going to demonstrate this for you right now. So the idea here with this one is you have this little tool here, I don't know if you can see that, but it fits into these grooves on the edge and just spins it so it makes it really easy. We're going to demonstrate this pan right now. Um, so we just pour some batter in the middle here. And as you guys can see, uh, it is, it's electric. So it's plugged in, it, it heats by itself, which is, which is pretty handy. And then we're going to take a little spreader, we're going to put it into these little grooves here and just slowly, evenly spread it out and it, it works really well, super smooth. Makes nice circular crepes. Just spread that out. And it's really pretty easy. It just cooks itself. Okay. And then what we're gonna actually use for this one, you don't want to be uh, using a lot of metal on, on pans like these, so we're gonna actually use a wooden spatula to kind of pull this up. So the same kind of technique. I think it's perfect. Beautiful. Okay, so some of the pros and cons with this one. Some of the pros is that this is a this is a crepe making device. This is for crepe, so it heats up to a perfect temperature. It's a perfect size. Really easy to spin it. Really easy to spread it out. It makes it really thin. You know, uh, there's really the crepes that you're gonna make on these are gonna come out perfect. Okay, so there's really no cons as far as the crepe making experience on a crepe maker like this. 
um, some, of, some of the cons that we do have with this one is that it is a little bit inconvenient, right? It's, it's bulky, you have to get it out everywhere, you know, whenever you want to use it to, you know, pull it out, whatever you might have it. It's a little inconvenient there, and it's also inconvenient because it's difficult to wash. You can't use water, you can't use soap, you just kind of have to scrape it off or, you know, use a paper towel. So it can be inconvenient in that, in that sense as well. Um, also, um, you're, not, you're, supposed to, you're not really supposed to use oil on these pans. You're actually supposed to use like egg yolk or, you know, that's going to be uh, the way you get a non-stick surface on there. So kind of a cool front tip for you there is they use egg yolks on, on some of your pans. So there are some quirks to it. There are some, some little nuances that, that make it a little bit difficult. It, it, it does take a while to heat up. It takes a while for it to cool down. Um, and then it's not, it's not very versatile. This pan, it really has one thing. It does that one thing super well. It makes amazing crepes, but that's really going to be all that you can do with it, you know. And so, um, other than that, if you guys love making crepes, you're gonna make a lot of crepes. Something like this is gonna be perfect. You're never gonna be disappointed with the crepes you make on a pan like these. So we definitely recommend it if you are a big crepe. Okay guys, so for our last option, we have our very own Crepe Pro. This is a 14 inch steel pan that, that we do sell. Uh, and this is great for crepes and a lot of other things. We're gonna demonstrate this for you guys. It also comes with these two tools that make crepe making super, super easy batteries for the tank dispatcher. So let's go ahead and do this demonstration, okay? Okay guys, so with the Crank Pro, the idea here is that you're gonna pour your batter just in the center, and then you're gonna spread it out with the batter spreader, okay? So just in a circle, just like this. And the cool thing about this is that you have a lot of freedom. You know, you can make these crepes as thin as you want, as thick as you want, as big, as little. You know, there's a lot of freedom there, which you might not have with a lot of other crepe pans. So let's, let's give it a try here and show you guys how it works. circle and you are going to want to spray the pan before you use it especially for the first couple crepes and we'll just put it into a circle just like this beautiful and then when you're ready to flip it you're going to use just this uh this spatula right here um that we also include to flip it so you just want to get under one of these sides here and then slide it under, and you can usually just spin the spatula. And it's, it's effortless, you know, super easy without having a lip on the edges. Super strict deal. You're able to just, you know, easily get under there, lift the crate, flip it, um, and make it nice and pretty. Okay, so let's talk about some of the pros and cons with the crate. Bro. So, first of all, starting with some of the cons. This is a heavy pan, okay? It's it's completely steel. It's large, 14 inches. It's a heavy pan, right? Um, it weighs over 10 pounds. So that's something to be aware of. It is, it is it is a little heavy. It can be you know cumbersome in that in that sense. Um, it also takes a while. Steel takes a longer time to heat up than other materials will. So it takes longer to heat up, and also takes longer to cool down. So there are some of those little those little nuances there that can be a little bit difficult um it's you're gonna need to season it as well so before it's non-stick you can't just pull right out of the box and start cooking it you have to season it first before it's gonna be non-stick um so there's a couple things um and it can and the heat can be a little bit tricky to get it right and make sure you have it on the right temperature but once you got it right it just stays perfect and you can make crepes all day with it um so now on to some of the pros um as you can see it makes perfect crepes these crepes are very thin um, they're just how you want them. Uh, it cooks them really well, it cooks them very evenly. It's really easy to, to spread out the batter, distribute it, make sure everything is even. Um, it's really easy to flip it because of this tool uh, and because it has, doesn't have a lip, it makes it really easy to flip. So a lot of those other things you have to worry about with other pans, you don't have to worry about the big pro, which we love. Um, some of the other pros is that it's super versatile. You know, this pan condition to be able to be perfect for crepes, it also works well in the oven. So you can stick this right in the oven and make pizza on it, and all, all kinds of things like that as well. You're really not going to doubt with any other crepe pan, especially. Um, so there's a lot of awesome things about it. It's super low profile, which we really, really like. Um, a lot of times after Ali and I will make crepes or make anything on it, we'll just leave it on the stove because you can hardly notice it's there. And so that kind of gets rid of a lot of the cumbersomeness of it, you know, with it being too hot or, you know, it being heavy. You just leave it on your stove. It really is indistinguishable and it still looks fine in your home. So, and it, it's even when you do want to store it, it's super easy to store. You can just put it into the cookie, you know, sheet cupboard or whatever, you know. So there's a lot of pros. There are some cons as well. And, but overall, this is something that we love. And if you love making crepes, you're going to love, love, love the crepe. Okay, guys?
All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us for this video. We hope that you found a lot of value in this and a lot of got a lot of good information from it, and to help you to, to make your decision on what kind of credit card you want to use and you make crepes for you and for your family. In conclusion, um, the frying pans they work great. You know, if you are not gonna, if you're not a huge crepe person, you should make it every once in a while. The frying pans are gonna be one for maybe a plug crepe pan like you demonstrated. You know, those are gonna be twenty three dollars, no big deal at all. But if you're a big crepe fan, you love making crepes, you love making big crepes, you love making them just super thin, super delicious, loading up with tons of Nutella and fruit, then you're gonna want to go with the crepe maker or, or a crepe pro. Those are gonna be great options for you. Um, and you know, they're the versatile pans are great pans, and so that's kind of our conclusion there. We hope that you loved it. Please like, share, and 